This is Rocky Snyder. I'm a strength coach in Santa Cruz, California, and here are three things you can do while you're at your workshop trying to keep the body kind of limber, open, and energized. The first one, you're just going to take your hands, place them back behind you so you can interlace your fingers together. You're going to try and get those palms to contact each other, and can you straighten out the elbows? This is just going to open up the muscles across the front of your chest and shoulders that often get shortened the more you work on a project in your workshop. So can we just bring the arms back, clasp your hands together, feel the shoulders draw back and down, and if possible, can you bring your hands away from the hips? And maybe hold that for a few seconds or make it repetitive. Enough for you to start to feel like there's this tension is slowly reducing off the front of your chest. Now, if you do have some area along your workbench that's low enough where you can take one leg and rest it up on a bench, a stool, or the table itself, fantastic. Basically, I've got the outside of my knee and ankle of my left leg resting on top of this surface. And then, making sure that I'm not going to fall over, I'm just going to hold on and maybe even lean forward. That's going to give me a nice lengthening sensation on the back side of this hip which often will shorten up the more we are at our workbench. And lastly, we're all, all we're going to do is a little bit of a side bend. I'm not going to turn into Richard Simmons or anything, but what we're going to do is basically have one leg in front of the other, and you're going to lean on the workbench, and you're just going to reach up and over toward the pegboard and then bring yourself back down. Do that maybe five or six times, and then switch sides and do the same thing. We're opening up all the tissue down the side of your body. We've already opened up the tissue on the front of your chest and shoulders, and we've worked on the muscles on the backside here too. All those areas can get us into positions that really get us cranky and compressed. Give them a try, let me know how it goes.